Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 14th of uh, February. So happy Valentine's Day to all you ladies out there. Ha! Got that in there quick. Anyway, and the blokes. Right, so um, Euro dollar um, daily. Well, it's been selling off uh, all last week, all this week. Is it going to stop here? Uh, who knows is the answer on that one. I'll keep going back to this weekly chart to uh, see where we are relatively. And uh, as I said yesterday, it, <laughs> the way it's running, it could run all the way back to that 105 area. Um, it doesn't seem to be any let up on the basis of uh, US uh, Fed members being particularly uh, hawkish. Um, regarding the economy and the outlook so there we are so um, today well it uh, started or it has started a, a little step up there and it, there's got to be a come a point where of course it uh, do, does get a bit more of a, a move on yesterday all it did was run back into its daily pivot maybe we'll see similar today if it can get back to that daily pivot um, I'm maybe well looking for shorts there but uh, it's not 39, 49. It's got 15 pips to get there. If it gets there, it may be, uh, as I say, a short in point along that level. Now I can see some divergences across these lows here. It's pro possibly setting up for some traders for some long side here, and as I say, may may have a long side into that pivot, but uh, not looking uh, particularly great um, for in the bigger time frames. Okay. Sorry, just going to a 60 minute chart. There we go. Right, let's go on to the pound. I should say this morning we got the uh, German prelim uh, GDP out this morning. Oh, that's already out. Sorry, that was out at 7 o'clock. That came in at zero, so another sp uh, uh, spoilt figure. Okay, coming into the pound as well, continuation. Yesterday we saw the move into the uh, uh, retest that trend line. It, it, it pulled back off that. Uh, sorry, yesterday, day before, but yesterday it broke through it. Um, and ended up uh, pretty bullish there. At the moment, you have to, I say have to, you don't have to be at all, but it's uh, it's moved back above that positive, uh, that trend line there, and well, maybe, uh, as I said in the earlier part of the week, it may run back towards that, uh, the uh, uh, resistance point there, uh, to round about uh, 31.40ish. Um, maybe 50 somewhere in that region I can't get uh, 60 60 ish 60 70 okay so may run push push back up into that sort of zone um, looking at it on the shorter time frames well it's uh, put a bearish fl a bullish flag in here to, trying to push up it will have a daily pivot uh, below it which uh, puts me off dashing into try trying to trade it on the long side um, and it short term it may want to come back for that but if it does just push up there well uh, maybe a trade later but um, it's overall it's it's more bullish than bearish uh, as I said I'd, I'd rather be buying it from after it's touched the pivot preferably but we'll see how that shapes up this morning dolly yen Okay, uh, yesterday it was risk back off. Um, we saw the yen strengthening there. Um, it's uh, quite choppy of late, and it's it, the range of it's quite tight. It's not the easiest to trade, but uh, well, certainly not the easiest to trade. And you just see these long periods of uh, quite tight um, chop, effectively. And it's in, in a, I mean, a particularly tight range. It's only sitting there in a 40 pip range from top to bottom there. So tight old range over those days. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar uh, yesterday sold back off it today trying to push back up again. It's uh, it's trying I think is the word. Um, it's uh, well if it breaks the trend of this move here of from the across the highs there it could be on for further upside there it's already done the daily pivot r1 maybe it can push up into yesterday's highs uh, from where it is um, maybe even further towards that four alley 200 at some point it's pretty slow though uh, coming back to the alleys and it's quite a mess here uh, doesn't matter how you look at it, you've got all the key moving averages running through the centre here. It's just become a bit of a, a, a chop zone, so makes it very difficult to try and uh, move into any trade there. Canadian dollar. So look there. It 
it's uh, Canadian dollar so Canadian dollar yesterday gave up a little bit but uh, it's strengthening back against the US dollar here at the moment um, it's consolidating around this phase maybe a break of these lows here we'll see it continue over but yesterday it just spent uh, the remaining part of the day when I looked at after I looked at it in the morning going pretty much sideward it's not a currency I like day trading if you're looking at a swing maybe if it breaks down it's got some potential for further downside but uh, um, it's, it's it's again it's a mess a uh, quick look at the New Zealand dollar it started pushing up earlier in the week there it's just had a bit of a pullback yesterday um, I'm looking uh, to see if this uh, carries on pushing to the upside but at the moment it's pretty close to breaking those prior lows there um, I did expect a little bit more upside but the Aussies pushed off south a little bit there as well and it's uh, probably just uh, the way it is but um, well we'll see what happens there but at the moment it's looking with the lower highs lower lows it's looking bearish here on this uh, hourly basis uh, looking soft okay um, nothing much to add there as I said we had the ge already had the German GDP out at seven o'clock aside of that today we've got um, at 1 30 we've got core retail sales so have a great day I'll catch you on Monday bye for now mm -hmm.